Hey everybody, welcome to Meconomist. So today I just wanted to do a quick review of this 2015 Chrysler 200. It's been my rental car for the past couple days here in Las Vegas. My girlfriend and I have been seeing some sights around Las Vegas. We're really more into the natural beauty as opposed to the sort of Vegas strip stuff. But we did a little bit of that too. And so yeah, I just want to do a quick few notes on what I think about this Chrysler 200. Now, overall, the Chrysler 200 I'm driving right now makes me appreciate my own Ford Fusion a whole lot more. I'm going to say right off the bat that my Fusion is a much better car than this in almost every way. Um, so what are... What are the pros, though, for this car? Well, one, it's got decent amount of room. It's pretty spacious. It's got a decent trunk. The infotainment system is easy to use. It actually gets pretty good gas mileage. I've been averaging over 30 miles per gallon, which is pretty impressive considering how I drive. A lot of the driving was my girlfriend, though, and she's a much much more efficient driver than I am. And uh, another pro is the price point. These Chrysler 200s are pretty cheap these days, and that has a lot to do with demand. They're not very popular, probably because things like the Ford Fusion and whatever Kia has and stuff are, are better. There's a lot of different reasons for that, but I think if we can start with the way this car looks, when it first came out, it looked modern and cool, but when I first saw it, it was already a little bit too late. It's a little bit too, it's a little bit too sort of whale-like. When I first saw this design, I couldn't get a whale out of my head. It looks kind of like a killer whale or something like that. And I don't think that's helping it out. Also, the quality of the interior, eh, it's okay. It's, it's not great though. There's some rattles and some cheap feeling stuff. Overall, it's pretty tight, but it's just not high quality. But what are you gonna expect from a rental car? The worst problem with this car, for me, is the transmission. I think it has an eight speed transmission and it's awful. It never shifts at the right time. When it does shift, it's jerky when it shifts. You're always in a gear that's too high. And then when it finally does kick down, it kicks down too low and you get this jerky motion. It's just really not a great transmission. Now, along with the transmission, the suspension is, is kind of weird. It's, it's soft, so it feels good when you're driving along the road. Maybe it's just because it's been a rental car that's been abused, but it seems like the dampers are a little bit off because you get a lot of uh, sort of rocking back and forth. Acceleration is terrible. It's just got a little four-cylinder engine, so you can't really blame it there, but that acceleration could be helped a lot by a better transmission, I think. Oh, another thing that's not too bad about it is the sound system. You really can't complain about it. It's, it's not bad at all. Connecting to it is not a chore. It's pretty simple, straightforward system. I really can't recommend this car to anybody though because there's so many options out there that are better in almost every way and that's probably why it's a rental car and as a rental car it's fine so if you get a if you get a Chrysler 200 as a rental car have no fear it'll do what you need it to do but I wouldn't go out and buy one